Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to do the week one paper plot exercise. To do this, you're going to need uh, a couple triangles and dividers, okay? Uh, there's a little problem with focus in this, but I think you'll get the general idea. Okay, so first of all, here's your heading flash, okay? Here's your heading line, and we're going to number the targets, okay? Uh, this is target one because it's the first one that we encounter going clockwise from around our heading flash. Now, you would have gotten this data off of the radar. That's a, a, a different skill. But um, this is where the, that's, that uh, target would have been at time zero. And this is where that target would be at time six. Uh, this is target two, three, four, and five. Okay, so we're going to take these one at a time. So I want you to ignore two, three, four, and five for the moment. Okay, so we're going to start off with target one. So target one was here at time zero. And it's here at six minutes later. So this is going to be R and this is going to be M. Okay. And I would have gotten that information from my radar range and bearing at time zero, range and bearing at time six. That's a different skill. I'm not covering that right now. Um, so um, now what we're going to do is, is I have my, my, uh, uh, my two points. What I'm going to do is I'm going to connect them with a, with a line. Okay. When I connect them with a line, I'm going to draw the line past the center. And what I can see is that the relative motion line here intersects the center. Well, that means that uh, uh, if, if that vessel continues doing what it's doing and we continue doing what we're doing, we're going to be on an intercept course. We're going to have a CPA of zero. So let's start to go with uh, target one. First thing I want to do is I want to get the direction of relative motion here. So to do that, what I'm going to do is, is I want to line up, I want to get the direction of that line, okay? Now, it just so happens that that line goes right through the center of my plotting sheet, okay? Which means that the direction of relative motion for this vessel is 195, okay? Now, uh, we're going to have to do another step with some of these other vessels, um, but let's just stay with target one for now, okay? So now, I want to know what the speed of relative motion is. Well, in six minutes, the vessel went from this distance to this distance. So let me just see what that distance was, okay? So that distance was, if I measure it, okay? Now, uh, my radar is on 12-mile scale. This data all came from 12-mile scale, so I'm going to use the 12-mile. Matter of fact, I'm going to cross off the 3 and the 6 so I don't accidentally use them, okay? So in six minutes, that vessel went, looks like it went, uh, well, not that, the, the combined motion, the relative motion, Okay, we are about one mile closer to each other after six minutes, okay? So the speed of relative motion is one nautical mile in six minutes, okay? Well, six minutes is a tenth of an hour. So really, the speed of relative motion is 10 knots, okay? So I measure this distance, okay? I come over here to scale to get that distance, and then I move the decimal over one place to the right. Okay, I made it a bigger number. So that's the speed of relative motion. Now, what's the closest point of approach? Well, the vessel, if we continue going north and the vessel continues doing what it's doing, by the way, it's not going down this line. It's actually going something west. But anyway, let's not worry about that right now. We'll worry about that next week. Um, we're going to have a CPA of, z looks to me like that's pretty much zero. So the question is when, okay? So I can do this in a couple of different ways. Well, if our if we uh, closed in on each other by a mile in six minutes, well, I can create a proportion to figure out, well, how many overall miles is it, okay? Uh, I can also just walk this down, okay? So I can go like this, and I can go, well, that was one mile in six minutes, so there is 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48, 54, 60. Okay, looks to me like that's about, so that was 6, 12, 18, 20. It looks to me that's about 66 minutes or so, okay? All right. Now, I could have done that another way if I wanted. What I could have done was I could have measured this entire distance, okay? And that entire distance is 11.4 miles, okay? So I could say, uh, how long would it take for, 
for us to close 11.4 miles if it took uh, six minutes for it to do one mile. And I can do a little cross multiplying when I do that. Let me grab my calculator. Okay. I'll get, uh, if I create my little proportion here, I'm going to get x equals 6, well, it's going to be 6 times 11.4 divided by 1. So that'll be 6 times 11.4. I'll get it exactly. Oh, let me do that. 6 times 11.4. That's 68. Okay. 68.4. Okay. So pretty close. Okay. All right. Now, we've done target 1. Let's do target 2 now. Okay, so now we're just going to focus in on this. So at time zero, when I first observed this target, it was at this distance in bearing. Now it's at this distance in bearing, six minutes later. So what I can do is this is R, this is M, okay? That makes this the relative motion line. This is the relative motion line for target one. This is the relative motion line for target two. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect those two. Well, I've already done that for you, but here we go. So now that's the direction of relative motion, okay? But... Uh, I'm not going to say that that the uh, direction of relative motion is 155. I've got to take this, this orientation and bring it to the center. It's only one place on this plotting sheet that is oriented to this outer scale. That's the center. So what i got to do is i got to bring this over to the center. Anyway, it's going to be something around 180. Okay. And I come up here, and yeah, it's 180. So the direction of relative motion is 180. So what's the speed of relative motion? Well, in six minutes, what was the distance? Okay. What was the relative distance in six minutes? Well, there we go. I measure that. I come over here. And it looks to me like that was 25. Okay. So that is uh, 25. Uh, excuse me. That's 2.5. Okay. That's 2.5 miles in six minutes. Well, remember that six minutes is a tenth of an hour, so it's 10 times that, 25. So the speed of relative motion of our combined motions is 25. Now, what's the closest point of approach for target two? Well, in order, so, you know, uh, at this point, the vessel is going to be about six, two, four, six. You know, here it's about eight miles. Here it's again six. So it's getting closer, 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 closest, getting farther away. So how can I get that exact point? What I do is I draw a line perpendicular to the relative motion line. So here it is, okay? So I can get my triangle perpendicular, okay? And I'm just taking advantage of this. And then what I do is I get that right through the center, okay? So I'm going to put my point, my pencil on the center, I'm going to put my triangle up against it, and then I'm just going to get a line perpendicular to the course line, uh, the, the relative motion line, and voila, that is the CPA, okay? So now I can measure that distance. Well, what is that distance? Okay, well, I measure over here. I'm on 12-mile range, so I use the 12-mile scale. And that looks to me to be about 4.9 nautical miles. Okay? Now, your numbers might be slightly different, a little bit larger, a little bit smaller, but it should be about round 5-ish. Now, what is the time of that? Well, let's see. If it took me, uh, we said that was uh, 2.5 miles in 6 minutes. So that's 12 minutes, 18 24, so that was 6, okay, 12 would be about there, 18, 24, so looks to me like it's, uh, I don't know, maybe 2 minutes less than 24, so I'd say that's about 22 minutes, okay? Okay, great. Now, target 3. This is where it was at R, and 6 minutes later, it's there as well. Oh, wait a minute. It's... It was, at time zero, it was six miles away from me, okay, on this bearing. Uh, at time six, it's the same, which means it's no relative motion. It's the same course and same speed. We're both going in the same direction. So uh, what is the direction of relative motion? There is no relative motion. What's the speed of relative motion? There is no speed of relative motion, okay? What's the CPA? Well, it's at the CPA right now, and it's at it right now. And it was at that, that was the closest point in the whole, if they don't change course and speed and we don't change course and speed, they're always going to be six miles off our starboard quarter. So the CPA is what it is right now, two, four, six. So it's six miles. The CPA is not zero, it's six. And what's the time to CPA? Well, the time to CPA is now. 
and now, and now. So you could also call it time zero, okay? So that was target three. How about target four? So this is R, this is M, that makes this RM, okay? And, uh, you know, again, uh, you know, you would transfer those from the radar onto here, and there's the direction. Okay, so what is the direction of relative motion? Well, I think it's pretty easy to see that that is zero, 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 okay? What's the speed of relative motion? Well, I'm going to take the, the distance, okay, the relative distance in six minutes. Take that to my 12-mile scale. Oh, excuse me, that was 2.7. Okay, so that gives me about, uh, yeah, about 27, okay? I misread my scale, okay? All right, and what's the CPA? Okay, well, so what point is perpendicular to this line that, what point is perpendicular to the relative motion line that also goes through the center? So I'm going to put my pencil down in the center. I'm going to get this, uh, well, I think maybe I'll extend my line just a little bit, okay? so that I have a little bit better, uh, a little bit longer to orient my triangle to. And it looks to me like the CPA is right about there, okay? So this is the CPA for target four. So let me measure that distance, okay? And that distance is, looks to me like that's 3.1 nautical miles, all right? Um, okay, and what's the time of that? All right, well, Let's measure these off here, okay? So that is six minutes. Looks to me like that's about 11 or 12 minutes. I'm gonna just say, uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and say 12 minutes, okay? Uh, if you said 11 or 11 and a half, that'd be fine. We just typically don't worry about half minutes. Okay, so that's that target. Now the last target is target five. So this was R, this was M. That makes this the relative motion line for target five. Okay, what's the direction of relative motion? Well, again, you put your triangle, you bring it to the center. Oh, it's 180, okay? And what's the speed of relative motion? So what was the relative distance in six minutes? All right, looks to me like it was about there. And I come over here, and that's about 4.9 nautical miles. So I move the decimal over, whoa, 49 knots, okay? Now, neither one of us is going 49 knots, but, you know, we're going north, they're going south, so our speed is combining. Okay, that's a lot of, you know, that's pretty good. Uh, we'll be closing very quickly if our speed of relative motion is 49 knots. Now, what's the CPA? So, uh, let's see here. What's the point that is perpendicular to that and goes through the center? I got this. All right, I go like this. And I mark it right there. Okay, oh, okay. So, let me measure that distance. Okay, and the distance is approximately 2.1 nautical miles, okay? And what's the time of that CPA? Well, let's see. How long did it take me to go six minutes? I mean, how far did I go in six? How far was the relative motion in six minutes? That was six. That makes this 12. That makes this 24. So it's 6, 12, excuse me, 18. So that's 18, that's like 19, 20, 19 and a half, I'll just say, I'll just, uh, excuse me. It's 6, 12, 18, okay? 6, 12, 18. So that looks to me to be, I don't know, 13, 14, something like that, okay? And now we're done.